Hey, how's it going? This is Chris Collins with Cinema 5D. I'm here with Richard Schlooning from Zeiss. And uh, Richard, can you explain a little bit about the T-coating with uh, your Zeiss glass? Yeah, I'd love to. Thanks, Chris. So Zeiss has a uh, basically a, a designation on our lenses we call T-Star. So the original T is actually stands for anti-reflection uh, coating. It was developed in 1935. So Zeiss is the first company, first optics company, to use a, uh, a coating that we apply to the surface of the lens, so it's the front and rear surface of the lens, to basically control the uh, light path, so the ray of light as it passes through the lens. So with a normal uncoated lens, you can lose up to 4% of the light transmission on each lens surface. So when you have a wide-angle lens, which has a lot of lens elements in here, you could lose up to half of the light transmission if you don't have a coated lens. And basically what happens is you have uh, you know, a light made up of red, green, and blue, essentially, mm -hmm. and it reflects off of the light surfaces in different ways. So some of the light is actually transmitted through the lens, and some of it is actually reflected off the front or rear surface of the lens. And what a, what a good anti-reflective coating will do is, is allow the most amount of light to pass through. So most of our lenses actually transmit 90, 90 95, 96% of the light um, that actually hits the lens surface. So we're able actually to, uh, to absorb a lot of that light and actually pass it through. And as you can see with, uh, with a cutaway of one of our lenses, um, every single lens surface, front and rear, needs to be coated. So we have uh, specialized equipment, and in the 1980s we developed a multi-coated lens um, to actually uh, up to nine different layers on each lens surface again to do very specially control uh, the light and to make sure that it's actually passing through the lens. So what does that mean to, uh, to a filmmaker? Well good anti-reflective coating is going to give you a maximum amount of contrast and maximum amount of color saturation. It, it is basically it's going to be designed to come as close to what your eye sees uh, without the lens actually interfering with that.